you have to know this. You have to know this. Whenever there is a natural opposition that you see to the activity that you're doing spiritually, it's, a, it's of spiritual origin, not natural origin. I mean, whether you're trying to do a great work and license and inspection isn't working, whether, whether, whether you're trying to get into a co country missiologically and you're having issues getting into that country or getting resources into that country. I've, I've seen that before where people were doing missions work and couldn't even get the Bibles into the country. Um, if you're trying to get a particular facility and there, there are people that are locking down your ability to do that particular thing. If you're trying to minister in school districts or in, in any different type of way that you're trying to broach a, a, a contact to be a kingdom influence and blessing, um, but there are groups of people that are coming against you. You gotta know that that's not natural. It's not just they don't like you, it's they don't like Jesus. And the enemy is the one that doesn't like Jesus because he doesn't want God's kingdom to spread. But one of the things I love about it is that the gates of hell will never prevail against the kingdom of God. That's what I love about it. So we, we get to move forward with a promise, but moving forward with a promise doesn't mean you don't have, listen, opposition. The first thing that Nehemiah did is he went and talked to God about it.